everyone. Thanks for popping by. Can I just uh, remind everyone, if you've not watched the video that I put up before this, um, please do check it out because it's uh, important details about Watchtower's policies on destroying records, okay? So very important just to keep your eye on that. And please, please share it. And thanks to everyone else who's already shared it and, and looked at it. Okay, well, I know you've all been buzzing to know what Kenneth Cook Jr. is like, the new governing body member. I'd seen photos of him, not heard him speak. Here he is, though, and he's giving a talk. And I think you'll be able to see from this that the monthly broadcasts are going to be as exciting as ever. He does not go back on his promise. Now those words say a lot about a person, don't they? What Bible examples are there of those who please Jehovah by keeping their promise? And what is in store for those who do so even when it is bad for them? Well, we know Jesus, of course, is the foremost example of one who kept his promise to do Jehovah's will. But imperfect people, too, have displayed loyalty by keeping their promises. For instance, uh, in Joshua chapter 9, we read that the Gibeonites tricked the chieftains of Israel into concluding a covenant of peace with them, unwittingly. And the Israelites promised not to destroy Gibeon. What makes this of special interest is that those disguised men were part of the Hivite nation, which was considered to be a threat to Israel. So that's what you've got in store. Actually, by the end of this talk, he does... Uh... He does warm up a bit and comes over as a bit um, a bit warmer um, as a person. I'll just go to then. You can have a look. Jehovah eventually restored Job's health, doubled his wealth, and blessed them with a beautiful family. Not Job again. He was we well... benefit from such Bible accounts. Like Always Job. Jehovah's servants in the past, we may suffer from persecution, injustice, disasters, grief, disappointments or serious illness. In addition, we may have to work hard to fulfill our promise to be a good husband, wife, or a friend in time of need. <laughs> the list is long, and but despite the difficulties or uh, even the pain at times, we can do it. We can imitate the faith of past and present examples and live up to our promises, including, of course, our dedication vow to Jehovah. Since Jehovah often does more for us than we might expect, we are confident that what he holds out for our future is greater than we can now imagine. As Psalm 3119 says of Jehovah, how abundant your goodness is. You have stored it up for those who fear you. So as you can see, he's another, um, he's got Jehovahitis as well. It's um, always Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. Um, not sure if he does any Jesus mentions in that one. Uh, so, yep, obviously a company man, otherwise he wouldn't be in that position. So uh, I can't help thinking, though, that um, up on those thrones, when they all get up there, it's going to be a bundle of laughs up there, isn't it? Phew, all the excitement. Okay, well, there you have it. Bye for now.